welcome to McCracken County Public Library story time here from the Puppet Pit. Miss Nicole and Brary Bear here. Brary Bear pulled out some flowers from an old story time. These are actually pretend, but do you know what they're pretending to be? The type of flower is called daffodil, bright yellow. I bet if you look outside, you've been seeing some of those daffodil flowers popping up. Oh, Rary reminded me we better check on our little flower bulb. Here it is. Some green shoots have popped out. Rary said it reminds him of the song. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Do you know that song? Maybe one of your adults knows it and you can learn it with them and sing it. Or when we get together again, Brary always likes to sing that song every spring. Oh. Yes, Brary, did you bring a book? He did in his, backpack. yes, his backpack. Let's see. Oh my, beautiful. Festival of Colors, written by Kabir and Suritra Sagal, illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Guavas are ripening, lotuses are blooming, and holy, the Indian Festival of Colors is almost here. Oh, I wonder who they are. Oh, Chintu and Mintu are getting ready. Holy hey, they whisper. Can you try that? Holy hey. They gather hibiscus flowers because hibiscus flowers make the color red. That's right. Those are beautiful. They gather orchids because orchids make what color? Purple. They also gather marigolds because marigolds make orange. They gather irises because irises make blue. Then they lay the flowers out to dry. Then they separate the petals and then they press the petals into fine powders. The petal powders are ready. Chintu and Mintu are ready too. Oh, I see someone else is ready. <laughs> yes, and so are their parents and their little sister. Oh, I see a tricycle. And their friends. Oh, and their neighbors, even bigger. And then... Poof! Purple pops. Poof! Red bursts. Poof! Orange erupts. Poof! Blue splashes. Oh wow, look, they're throwing it all over. No wonder they were wearing white so you could see all the colors. Poof, 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 poof! Holy hey! Holy hey! Everyone shouts. Holy hey! Holy is a festival of fresh starts and friendship and forgiveness. But for Chintu and Mintu, it's also a festival of fun. Oh, it's so much fun. That was fun. Holy hey! Happy spring! Lots of different colors. Reminds me of the colors of the rainbow. Oh, you're right. This is the season for a lot of rain and sunshine, which makes the treasures of flowers grow. Rain and sunshine. Oh, it's time to go down memory lane. Oh, let's see what it is. Bray says, the hint is something about treasures. Ooh, here we go. Boy, this story of how I became a pirate is by Melinda Long and illustrations by David Shannon. And it starts, oh, there's a pirate ship 
and there's Sandcastle. Ah. So where would the pirates be if there was a pirate ship? Mr. Nathan would be on the ship. They'd be he? in the ship. They All would. Right. So if I'm Jeremy, there he is with his sandcastle. You know what? Pirates have green teeth. Did you know that? Mr. Nathan, just pretend they're green. You know, when they, or if they have any teeth at all, I know about pirates because one day, one day when I was at the beach building, what is he building? Sandcastle. Sand Finding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. Everyone look. There it is, the pirate ship sailed into view. And I could hear some pirates singing on it, singing, everyone, hey ho, blow the man down. Hey ho, blow the man down. They were a little off key. Hey you, got, you guys ho, were good. Blow the man down. <laughs> and when they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat. <laughs> And he yelled, everybody repeat, Ahoy there, matey! Ahoy, Ahoy there, matey! Be this Spanish main? Be this Spanish main? And I said, no, this is just North Beach. Oh, Aw, repeat after me, shiver me timbers! Shiver me timbers! That pirate said, I guess we must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. So he walked around my sandcastle and he looked at the moat and then he yelled back to his crew, he's a digger. He's, he's a, a digger. And a good one to boot. And, and a, a good, good one, one to boot. boot. What be your name, matey, the pirate asked. Um, I'm Jeremy Jacob, sir. Uh, well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braid Beard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a chest of treasure to bury. And everyone repeat, I treasure. I treasure. So you're coming with us, Braidbeard told me. I didn't think mom and dad would mind as, as long as I got back in time for soccer practice, OK? OK. okay. So there he is in the ship, rowing back to the big ship. And now over here, that's how I became a pirate. And as soon as we were on board, Braidbeard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Do you see it? Here, we'll pull it out so the kids can see a little better. Oh my, the chest of Don't gold and treasure. treasures. Sorry, Braidbeard. You know what? We've got to find a safe place for this here treasure. Braidbeard says, it's high time we're off. Everyone, let's shout, we're, we're off. We're off. So we get in the ship and start sailing away. You know what? There was plenty to do on board. Plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties. You sang one today with Lady Dragon. It was the tune, Let's All Sing with Library Lion. You know, I also learned about pirate manners. <laughs> I don't think they really have manners. And they showed me the kitchen and the place where to sleep. And they said, down the hatch, everyone. Get out of there. Down, down the hatch. They had no manners. They burped Burr. and they slurped Ew. all of their food. Very rude pirates. <laughs> it was kind of fun because by the time it was bedtime, nobody tells a pirate to go to bed. Nobody. They don't even tell you to brush your teeth. No teeth brushing. That's probably why your teeth are green. And pirates sleep with just one eye open, just in case. So they don't really sleep. And they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. And they don't do anything they don't want to do, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. Do you know what else they don't do? I couldn't stay awake any longer. <gasps> I said, Braidbeard, can you? Can you tuck me in? And it says, no tucking, everyone. No, no tucking. tucking. No tucking? Well, 
and the only thing they had to read was a map. Well, don't you have any books? Books? Everyone Where? says, no books. No, no books. books. Well, I didn't even bother about Got getting a good night kiss. Oh, well. Where? Here we go. Here's the treasure. Here's me ship. Here's me shiver. And here's me timbers. <laughs> so silly. Good night. Ah, oh, good night. <laughs> it wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story. But I was finally dozing off when a storm started to break loose. A storm with thunder and lightning. And I tried to hide under the covers, but the waves were slamming up against the ship, and I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. Where are they? They're all out on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Everyone, batten down the hatches. Batten down, batten down the hatches. hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening, and nobody had time to sit next to me and tell me it's going to be over. They didn't even notice me. I don't want to be a pirate after all. And just then, flash, crash, Boom. crack, a lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. Oh, no! One of the pirates yelled, what do we do now? Oh, Somebody say that. No. We'll have to turn back. We'll have to turn back. But the treasure, yelled Braidbeard. The treasure, everyone. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can help. I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. A digger. When the storm was over, we rowed back to shore and we buried the trust of treasure. We knew, we drew a map so we knew exactly where to bury it. Look, it's at Jeremy Jacobs' backyard. Mm -hmm. I didn't need the map, I knew where it was. It was my backyard. And after that, the pirates repaired the ship. No worries, remember they know how to build a ship and if it breaks, they know how to fix it, don't they? You're a good crew. But before they left, Braidbeard handed me a special flag. Do you remember the pirate flag? What is it called? Oh, the Jolly, Jolly Roger. Roger. That's right. He says, you make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back get to get it soon enough. Everyone say, soon enough. Soon, soon enough. enough. And if you ever need us, just run the old Jolly Roger up the yonder pole. Everyone say, up yonder pole. Up, up yonder, yonder pole. pole. And maybe I will, but not today. I have soccer practice. The Oh, Brary, what a lovely memory lane. Arr, yeah, the pirates. Mr. Nathan sure was funny, wasn't he? Oh, yes, and Miss Michelle, I loved her playing music on her guitar during that. It was such a fun time, wasn't it, Miss Nicole? Oh, yes, now I know what you meant, Barry, about treasure. Remember, his clue was treasures. Oh, I have some treasure jewels on my neck today. This was made by my friend, Miss Frida. Frida was an artist, and she left her art. Yes, sadly, she did die. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Nicole. No, I, I, it happens, but I'm so proud to have met her. You know, there's lots of people in our family and friends that are treasures, too. I hope you treasure each other. We love you here at Storytime. That's the end of Storytime, Dr. Duck. What do you say with Dr. Duck? Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Yay. See you next week. Bye-bye.